Uh, basically, it expects, as usual, any new startups expect them to deliver on the day one, which is not going to happen. So, the in today's engineering students um, are trained fun in fundamentals, but they need uh, additional skill set to actually be productive on from the day one in the companies. And basically, if you ask me, any engineering graduate or engineering student who are VLSA aspirants have to have certain skill set, like they have to be very good at uh, fundamentals of VLSA design, logic design, and one of the HDL languages which is a big plus and the design flow the knowledge of the design flow and the tool knowledge they have to know how to use the some of the tools at least so that will be a big plus to uh, get into the semiconductor industry as a designer or a verification engineer or any other uh, uh, portfolios which they aspire to be Yeah, this is a startup era. We are seeing a lot of uh, startups, at least in the IT services and a couple of them even in the semiconductor industries. But of course, they have a lot of challenges to face. Uh, basically, the startups rely on few experienced uh, uh, people in the company, uh, basically in the domain experts or the design experts. So who invest a lot of time in with the uh, in the freshers to train them uh, with the required skill set. Because the entire startup works with very few experienced people and a couple of freshers. Basically, the colleges uh, have a wide curriculum, wide syllabus dictated by the universities to which they are associated with. So, um, the wide spectrum uh, has to cover the entire electronics as a field, as an area which is really a wide uh, uh, space. So, VLSI is, becomes a very small part of the entire electronics and also the students, when you see the students are of again of a wide spectrum and uh, they will come with a wide uh, level of interests. Uh, so some may be interested in VLSI, some may be interested in uh, sat the satellite communication, some may be interested in DSP and all. So the, the interested crowd itself gets, sub uh, gets divided in the uh, colleges. So that is a major um, challenge. So the colleges have to identify these VLSI aspirants and then train them. See, so in, pa in pockets so that they become productive and they can get into the semiconductor industry.